Hey, hey, hey. It's Saturday, January 16th, 2021. Day 16 of 2021. And I'm doing my post. You can see that I'm here on the mat. Just finished my yoga, morning yoga. It's now 11.30, so I barely got it in in the morning. Um, it's Saturday, so I had a little more time on my hands, took my time. Um, I did walk for three miles on the treadmill a little bit earlier. Um, also read another chapter, chapter six, from um, my book. I did a little reading the Bible, and of course I prayed. So, um, today's a good day. It's snowing. I would have already been up and out because I'm at my parents' house and I was going home for the weekend, but it looked a little bit like a blizzard outside and I'm not really trying to drive in the snow, so I was waiting until the snow stopped. So I may, in a few minutes, get up and get myself ready to get up out of here. Um, what do I want to talk about today? Um, I think I want to talk about the temptation of self-sabotage and um, how I have been so tempted to sabotage myself of late, but I haven't. So I'm really happy that I am staying true to the commitments that I've made. Um, and so uh, I just know from my eating standpoint, I, I can have such bad behaviors. You know, I haven't of late. Um, but the potential is there. That's like, it's like the devil on my shoulder. But I've committed not, not to eating after 8 p.m. and um, before like 7 or 8 a.m. And so the other day, I think um, my parents ate late and that was something was just smelling so good. And I, I walked into where they were and my mother had these fries that looked like Portillo's fries. You know, the thick ones that are kind of like ridged. And I was like, oh, I could really want one of those. And I'm like, can I have some? And she said, yes. And I looked at my watch and it was 8.04. And I said, oh, I'm not doing anything. I'm not eating after eight. So I passed. So I was really proud of myself. Um, yesterday, for whatever reason, I had lots going on and I looked up and it was like seven o'clock before I even got ready to eat dinner. And I ate dinner and it's eight o'clock was approaching. I don't know, I had this overwhelming feeling of like, oh, I need to eat something, I need to eat something. And um, it was 7.58 and I did eat something, but it was just some um, sunflower <laughs> seeds. <laughs> um, the meats of the sunflower seeds that I ate, but I chewed them all up and swallowed before eight o'clock, so I stayed true. Um, but I do find myself, you know, sometimes at night, late at night, thinking, oh, I want a snack, I want some of this, I want some of that, and it's for no good reason. You know, these things happen, I'm not even hungry, it's just, I've been conditioned to have these these bad habits that are self-sabotaging, you know? It's like I'm trying to stay in shape and I'm trying to be, um, I guess, I'm gonna say fit and trim. And, um, you know, eating at night just doesn't do anything to help me. So um, I'm glad that I'm staying true. I'm glad that when, I, um, when I'm tempted, I can convince myself not to move forward. And I do believe that, you know, saying my prayers at night and saying my prayers in the morning and uh, reading the Bible and being reminded of the things that we should and should not do and, and how we should live our lives. And even um, reading this book that I'm reading, Destiny, you know, it kind of talks about some of those things that, you know, you need to rid yourself of the things um, that are in your life that don't push you towards your goals. So it's nice to have those reminders. Anyway, um, I don't know that I really have much else to talk about. I committed to checking in on the daily uh, to give my progress. Um, and so I've done that for today. So this is going to be brief. For those that watch, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And um, 
hope you have a blessed day. Bye.